You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says no more dentures, that nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have an expert on this topic, Dr. Rao. Dr. Rao, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Randy. Now, for people that don't know you or your practice, who's the typical patient? What are the different services you offer? That's a great question. The, uh, the practice is a general practice. Uh, it's the most established practice in Hollister. It's been there for over 30 years. All right. Um, beyond that, it's not only the most established, but it's also the most technologically advanced. Um, it's a general practice, so we do A to Z dentistry. Uh, anything from very simple things, teeth whitening and fillings and cleanings, uh, to more advanced procedures, things like oral sedation. Uh, we make crowns right there in our office. Uh, we have a machine that mills them out. Is that we a, right? We have a yeah, exactly. And a while you wait, printer. is that true that you could do it on the same day? We get people in and out in about ninety minutes, start to finish. Make the tooth right there. That's right. Okay. And they love watching it. It's great. <laughs> it's, re it's really neat. The little machine it sings songs. It has flashing lights. It's wonderful. Um, we have a three D printer. We're three D printing models of people's teeth. Three D printing surgical guides. We have a three D scanner that we're taking 3D images of people's jaws so that we can get very precise implants and um, do so very precise procedures. So normally this is done elsewhere. Exactly. So it speeds things up? Oh yeah. Is that the big benefit? Yep, yep. we're keeping just about everything in-house. General dentist, but we don't refer very much. We're keeping okay. most of the procedures right there. Now what type of people are coming in for dental implants? There's, there's a range of them. And well, the, there's two different groups. Uh, there's one group of people that have been in dentures for a long time. Uh, and they're tired of dealing with having a hard piece of plastic on the roof of their mouth. They're tired of doing relines and adjustments. They're tired of not being able to taste food. They're tired of not being able to go out to eat res at restaurants without worrying about if their teeth are gonna fall in or fall out or if they're gonna have to clean them. Okay. Um, so that's one group, people who want- The denture wearers. Exactly, they want something more stable. They want something where they can eat and taste their food for the okay. first time in many years. The second group, are people who, uh, I call them chronic dental patients, or they've been on the dental treadmill for years. You know, they've come in, they've had fillings done, they've had crowns, the crowns have fallen apart, the fillings have turned into crowns, they end up with root canals, and they've lost a tooth here, lost a tooth there, and next thing you know, 20 years down the line, they, they have this mouth full of teeth where none of them are the same shape, the same color, things are falling apart, they're in pain, and they've just been getting nickeled and dimed, really. All right. You know, thousands of dollars every year trying to keep up, and those people are tired of it, and they want another option. So you give them what? Fixed set of teeth with dental implants? That's the ideal. That's what people are going towards. It used to be that people would come in and have their teeth taken out and get dentures. People don't want that anymore. So, by the way, a lot of people where you are wearing dentures, like an upper lower denture? Oh, yeah. You know, Hollister itself is a little bit of a ranch town. It's a little bit off the beaten path, lots of farmers, old ranches, but what it is is it's a, it's a commuter town for Silicon Valley. Uh, 50, 50 or less than 50 miles to the north, just to the north of us is San Jose, San Francisco, the Bay Area. So within a short drive of us, there's over 8 million people. Okay. And of that 8 million people, you know, depending on what studies you've read or what you've heard, there are 30 million to 40 million people in the U.S. wearing dentures. So in our group... So uh, tens of thousands of people, you tens think? Tens of thousands of people. We could never, we could, we, we'd have to work night and day to get through. So if there's so many people wearing an upper lower denture, mm -hmm. then what's your take out? Why aren't they all coming in to do this? To get it, you know, a fixed set of teeth? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, in the, the, the typical denture patient, uh, they're out of the system. They don't know, they don't know what's out there. They, they've had their dentures and they got a couple relines here and there and maybe they've gone in for a couple adjustments, but they're not going to the dentist. Okay. And, and they don't know what the options are. You know, um, and, and the other fact of the matter is a lot of these people, they don't want to go to the dentist because their experience with the dentist for the 30 or 40 years previously was full of failed dentistry. How old can you be to get this done, to get dental implants? How old can you be is, yeah. a, is an interesting question. I'll say that the youngest patient that I've put dental implants on was 21. Okay. And that was a young female who had some congenitally missing teeth. And so we replaced those teeth and got her a beautiful smile. Uh, the oldest patient that I've personally worked on and done implants in is 97 really? years old. Why yeah. would a 97 year old want to do this? No matter your age, whether you're 30 or 97, these people want to chew their food and they want to eat the okay. foods that you and I eat, right? They want to bite into a steak 
and they want to feel the juices from that steak hit their palate, go around their mouth. They want to get the aroma from the food. And with dentures in your mouth and a hard piece of plastic in there, it's not happening. So 97 years old is not too old to get a fixed set of teeth that don't come in and out? Not at all. Supported by dental implants? That's a great age. Statistically, they're not more likely to have a problem? Not at all. Okay. If you're 97, you're, you've made it to 97 somehow. And another thing is the cost. You know, they may have heard from a friend that uh, a tooth replacement uh, with an implant costs 3000 or $5,000 per tooth. And so they're sitting there, you know, and they're doing the math and counting up how many teeth they're missing. And they may come up with some astronomical number. Uh, and the reality is using today's techniques, using modern technology, that's not the case anymore. We take four implants, sometimes six, and can replace an entire arch of teeth with just a few implants, which is very cost effective. It's in its what can they way. eat, by the way? What can they eat? Uh, and how soon can they eat after it's done? You name it. What do you want to eat? You want to take a bite of a giant hamburger? You want to put an apple in your mouth and, and bite it with your front teeth? Is that right? I mean, it's, it's as close as you can get to just having natural teeth. And, and you do it quickly, right? I mean, on the day of the procedure, they can walk in without teeth and walk out with teeth? That's, and that's the beauty of it. They come out and that day or the day after, they're eating, they're eating normal foods again. Is that, do you yeah. hear a lot of eating stories? Oh, that's all we talk about. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they want to talk about the first thing I'm going to eat once I get these teeth, and, and, and we talk about that all the time. What about chewy things like pizza? Chewy things like pizza are great. You know, when you and I eat pizza, we take a bite of the pizza, the cheese hits the roof of our mouth, and, and the flavor spread around. They haven't felt that in years. A dentureware? Yeah. Oh, because the roof is covered. Exactly. They don't, they don't remember even what it's like. You and I take that for granted. So really, I mean, you could eat whatever you want. Chewy Anything pizza, you want. I mean, it doesn't matter. Anything now, you I want. know a couple of dentureware's, right? They mm -hmm. never complain. Or you say there's no such thing as a happy dentureware? Yeah, they're, they're not complaining to you, Randy. But me, <laughs> I hear that every day. Really? You know, I hear every day. Yeah, people come in when we do adjustments and we're doing relines and we're fighting to get these people comfortable in dentures and it just doesn't happen. Is that true that the lower denture, like it's very difficult to make it work? Nobody likes their lower denture. Nobody does. They, they move, they wiggle, they flop around, your tongue's in the way. Uh, at least with an upper denture, there's some stability. Not much, but there's some. Lower dentures are just for show. They just sit there. Let me show you some of these photos I brought in. All right. This is a patient of mine. Her name is Ruth. Uh, Ruth, wonderful lady. And Ruth is one of these patients that, that we mentioned who, believe it or not, she actually had dentures and she liked them more or less. She didn't know any different. She had had dentures for- She said they're fine. Yeah, she had had dentures okay. for 20 years. She was functioning, she was doing what she needed to do. And one of her friends was a patient of ours who had come in for dental implants uh, and we put in a fixed set of teeth, teeth that don't come in or out, on her friend. And her friend went and told Ruth. She said, Ruth, you gotta go try these guys out. And Ruth, I think Ruth, said no three or four times before her friend finally convinced her to come in and see us. So we had her in, she comes in, we show her the process and we talk to her about the different things we do and how it's easier, faster, it's, it's safe, it's comfortable. It's not, it's not a scary experience. Uh, and, and Ruth finally came in and we got her this new set of fixed teeth. And, and we put them in and I called her that night and I said, Ruth, how do those teeth feel? Have you been able to eat? And she said, doctor, you wouldn't believe how I look right now. I, fe <laughs> I feel 20 nice. years younger. And, and that wasn't what she was expecting. She wanted to just be able to chew her food. Uh, she just wanted to be able to eat normal foods and taste things. Her expectations were, were low and we blew them out of the water. So, so take a look at Ruth right here. This is her before and her after. All right. And tell me what you think, Randy. How, how many years younger do you think she looks? From she looks a lot younger. There's no doubt about it. She told it's me. It's changed her appearance. She actually. told me the very next day, she said, doctor, I haven't looked like this in 15 years. In 15 years. We took 15 years off of her look in one day. And like I said, that wasn't even what she was expecting. She wanted to be able to eat and chew, but then she gets the secondary benefit of looking great. And now she comes in and she's smiling. She has a new boyfriend. She's going out, she's confident, you know, she's going to restaurants and eating foods that she wouldn't dream of eating when she just had her dentures. So her life changed that day.
when she woke up or, or came to and had had those new teeth in and saw her, herself smiling, she couldn't believe how good it was. So there's another patient like this um, who I saw who had come in. Uh, she, she was one of these patients who had been on the denture treadmill. She probably had half of her teeth were crowns, hardly any of them matched. So she has yellow teeth, white teeth, off-white teeth, eggshell teeth, and, and we got her teeth out. She had had infections and things like that. So she was gonna have dentures anyway? Oh yeah. Okay. She was gonna have them anyway. We got her bad teeth out. We put in a fixed set of teeth on implants, stabilized. She, she comes it to me the next week for a follow-up appointment and hugs me. She didn't say anything, she just came in and hugged me. And, I'm, and I kinda, I, I hugged and I, I kinda, I didn't know exactly what had happened. I didn't know if she had had a crisis in her family. And she hugged me and then she pulls me back and she says, Dr. Rao, you've changed my life. I've never felt this self-confident in all my years. I can smile. I can see the people that I want to see. I'm outgoing again. I didn't used to laugh. I used to cover my mouth. Really? And here I am. And it's like I'm a teenager again. Back to your question about, you know, are there denture wearers who are happy? You know, they're, they're happy. But let me, let me tell you, Randy, a little bit about the life of your typical denture wearer. So they've just adapted? Is that what you're saying? You know, people get used to what, okay. what they have. They do, to a degree. But let, let me tell you about their life. Their day revolves around their denture. For some of these people, they wake up before their spouse is up so that they can get their teeth back in, so that their spouse won't see them without their teeth. They prepare a breakfast, and it's yogurt or scrambled eggs. It's not bacon. It's not sausage. It's not the things that you and I might be used to eating. Okay. Um, so they're having a lunch date with their friends, and they pick up the menu, Randy, and they're scanning the menu. They're looking for what kind of soups do we have here? Or what kind of mashed potatoes do we have here? You think they're looking at the hamburgers or the steak? No chance. So they're, it's tough for them to eat in front of other people. Yeah, and, and think about the average lifestyle of someone who's over 50 or, or retired. What does their day revolve around? You know, they've got brunches and they've got social activities and they've got their kids come in to see them and they've got family. It's food, yeah. It's food. Good point. All day. So if you're in your 80s, right? Because mm-hmm. you say you're doing 80-year-olds. Oh, yeah. 75-year-olds. Every day. You did a 97-year-old. Yes. Supposedly, you did yes. a 97-year-old, yes. right? I didn't get a birth certificate. <laughs> yes. Okay, but the, but, but the food, is, so they, it's like a new life for them in a way. They're getting yes. more fiber, I guess. They're healthier. You know, these, these are patients who are going to their doctor, and the doctor tells every single one of them, you need to eat more fiber, you need to eat more fiber, you need to, well, what are the fibrous foods? Apples. Oranges, like carrots, broccoli. broccoli. So they could eat broccoli, like even raw? They can eat raw carrots, okay. raw broccoli, you name it. So all of a sudden, these people who maybe for many years their diet wasn't good are getting healthier. They're not only getting healthier, but they're better looking, they're happier, and they're more self-confident. And so that's a big change. And, that's, and it's hard to put a price tag on that when you've, when you've changed someone's life so dramatically. Okay, good. Now we have time for a few more photos. This is a guy named John. John managed a, a car dealership. So he was in the eye of the public. John was dealing with people every day. He had a big staff of people. He was dealing with customers. He's doing public outreach. And John had bad teeth. John had gum disease. John had teeth that had cavities and had multiple fillings and off and on pain. And John came to me and said, Dr. Rao, I'm tired of this. I feel like every time I come in, there's something. I brush my teeth, doctor. I floss, doctor. What, is, what options do I have? Really, this guy's only good option at that point was a denture. And there was no way in the world that, that this guy, with, who's a public person in town, is gonna wear a denture. No chance. Okay. So we ended up doing what? Getting him a fixed set of teeth with dental implants. He went from being on a treadmill of getting dental work done every couple months and needing to continue uh, shelling out more money every time to having this wonderful set of teeth that require very little maintenance, that don't bother him, that he's not in pain. They look real, by the way. I'm not trying to they side with you. People need to know, I'm, I'm not endorsing you on this show, but, but that, they look real. They look great. So there's, what, are you in any part of the design of what it's gonna look like at the end? Yes. Does the patient know what their teeth are gonna look like? Absolutely, yep. We, we go through a whole process, start to finish. So if you're, a, if you're a bigger guy, if you're masculine, we're picking out teeth that, that uh, complement your facial structure. If you're a petite lady, we're choosing teeth shades and shapes. We're going through various molds that complement the lips, 
that complement your cheeks and, and your eyes and the shades. People get worried about having the denture look. They don't want big chiclets. So, so Randy, take a look here at these pictures of this before and after, and, and look, at the, look at the before pictures and look at those teeth. Those are flat teeth. John's right. in his 60s, so he's got decades of wear on those teeth and they look flat across, across. That's a sign of age? Oh yeah, okay. so that's, that's, not, that's not natural. So take a look at the after picture and you see his teeth here and you see they're rounded. Yeah, and you yeah. see they follow his lip line perfectly, giving him a really basically a perfect ideal smile. The other thing is the teeth on each side are a little, just a hair shorter than the middle teeth. So all these little details add up to get a result where, and you can see it right here. He's a more handsome guy, by the way, also. He's, he's, he he's much more he handsome. Look he he looks right. younger, he looks more handsome. And look at his smile, he's, he's timid right here. He's barely smiling, he's kind of like, hey, yeah, look at my teeth. And in here- Well, you he, told me sometimes they don't even want to smile. They don't. Even to you. They'll put their hands up. Even to you, the dentist, they don't want to show they, No, and look, this is to me, the dentist. We said, John, smile, and he goes, and we, and we get him a fresh set of teeth, and we say, John, smile, and we see this. <laughs> you know, we see his teeth. Yeah. So. And he can eat whatever he wants. He eats everything. And how long will they last? I mean, if everything's just like your regular teeth, I mean, he can. Could... It's a permanent solution. So once these are in, 95% of the time, people are keeping these the rest of their life. Now, 60 is pretty young. I mean, are there a lot of 60 year olds with dentures? 50 there year olds? More than, more than really? you'd imagine. Really? Yeah. And, and, and even younger, people in their 40s. So nobody knows, probably, with this guy. No one has any idea. Interesting. They, they look like natural teeth. They look like his teeth from when he was younger. But what about the people though, because you said there's two types of people. Yep. The people that are headed to dentures, that means their teeth are loose, they're bleeding and the whole bit. Are their gums too bad to do this, to get dental implants? Those are the people we see all the time. Those are the perfect candidates for this because they've been going for months and years sometimes with these low grade infections. They have gum disease and that's an infection. And that doesn't just affect your mouth. That affects your whole body, and we know that now. Um, and so when these people come in and we get those bad teeth out, we solve the infection. And then- The gums we, get strong? They get strong, okay. they get healthy. And so this person who, who had bad breath, who had pain, who things weren't comfortable for, all of a sudden, they're getting healthy again. And, and that's just another one of the added benefits of doing this. So with a guy like this, what does he say? Like when he sees it for the first time in the mirror, what's that like? He's, he's a guy, he's a kind of a bigger guy, stronger guy, and he looks in the mirror and he didn't say anything. He held the mirror up, Randy. He looked in that mirror and he looked at himself for what seemed like an hour to me, but was probably <laughs> more like a minute or so. Yeah, yeah. And, and he looks over at me and he says, Dr. Rao, I haven't seen myself like this. I don't smile like this. My teeth have been ugly for longer than I can remember. And to be able to look at myself and smile and know that I look like this, this is changing my life. Now he could post selfies on Facebook, Oh yeah, right? I'm sure. He's smile. probably posting <laughs> selfies every day, yes. The, uh, okay, a <laughs> couple more photos. So, so here's another picture. Um, this is a lady named Ellen, beautiful patient of mine. And, and this lady came in and she was, she was a very optimistic lady and she was very sweet, but she didn't smile much. And she always covered her mouth when she talked. She always had a hand up. Uh, and Ellen came in, and you're not gonna believe her after picture. I mean, take a look okay. at her right here. Take Does a she look have at a the denture? Wind. What's going on right there? She's a denture wearer. All right. And this is a denture. And she did not like smiling with her denture in because the teeth didn't look right. They weren't the right shape. They weren't the right, in the right location. They, they were the fake, wrong color. Like a they denture. looked like fake teeth. I feel like I could always spot a denture. He, everyone can. You, okay. you know when you're walking down the street and, and someone's got teeth that don't look natural. Uh, and so, so she came in. And she had been told before, you know, you're not a good candidate. You don't have enough bone. Uh, her previous dentist had told her, oh, you're too old. You're used to your denture yeah, but isn't now. isn't it true? If you've been wearing a denture like 30 years, you can't do this. You don't have enough bone. That, that could have been the case maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And, and we turned people away, certainly, as dentists. But now, using 3D technology, using cone beam scans where I can duplicate your jaw digitally and using a surgical guide, that we make right there in the office, I can thread the needle. Your, your bone can be just about as thin as it could be, and we're gonna be able to get an implant in there. Is that right? Okay, yeah. so I interrupted you. So this woman, she so did Ellen, not like her denture. She couldn't stand it. Okay. And, and these people are out there everywhere, people who have dentures and can't stand them. They're everywhere. They're walking around the streets right now. Uh, so she comes in, uh, 
she had been told she's not a good candidate for dental implants. And pe many people have been told this. I, I just saw a person yesterday. He said, yeah, I have this space. I can't get an implant. There's no bone. And I look in there and I think, well, gosh, we could probably put two in there. You know, there's, <laughs> okay. there's enough bone and, and the technology is good enough and the implants are good enough. Um, so she comes in and we take, we take a look and we go over everything and I, and I give her her options. And we elected to do a full set of teeth on four implants. And, and I want you to just take a look at the after picture here, Randy. Wow. And take a look at it's her. like veneers. And look at her smile and look at the shape of her teeth. And she, she has to look 10 or 15 years it younger. It doesn't look like the same woman. It doesn't at all. Does you it? see the yeah. wrinkles are different? Yeah, yeah. Her cheeks are fuller. Her lips are fuller. She's a totally different lady. And so this has given her a new lease on life. Because these people, Randy, when they walk around and, and, and they have sort of this older look to them, they're discriminated against. And, and that's just the reality of their life. People think that they're poor or people like think... Like with bad teeth. Exactly. People think that they don't take care of themselves. Yeah. People think that they're unhealthy. And, and those things aren't true. This lady might have brushed and flossed and used mouthwash a hundred times a day. That's not going to get rid of the infections, right? All right, all right. So, so when she comes and she looks like this, all of a sudden people are treating her differently. People are complimenting her smile. They want to be around her. It's a whole different world for her. Do, do we have time yeah, for one more yeah. photo? Okay, great. Because I love this patient and I love her story. Her name's Frankie. And I'm going to slide these over to you. I want you to have a look at Frankie. And take a look at that before picture on Frankie. And what do you see? You see missing teeth. You see teeth that are flared out. But these were mostly her natural teeth. And so this is someone who, who never really had good, healthy teeth. From a young age, she was in crowns and root canals and getting lots of dental work done. She came to me and she said this. She said, Dr. Rao, the cements and glues that you dentists use, they don't work on me. I've been getting crowns and I've been getting things done and it always falls apart and this hurts. And so she came to me and I talked to her and I said, well, well, you know, what did you have in mind, Frankie? And she said, I want to be able to eat again. I don't want to get a crown done every two months like I'm doing right now. And so we looked over things and uh, the, the, the basic options for her at that point in her life were, okay, Frankie, you can wear a denture the rest of your life yeah. or we can have dental implants and get you a fixed set of teeth that are going to be the best teeth you've had since you were 20 years old. Okay. And so we Who went could through, say no to that, right? Right. That's okay. a, it's a no-brainer. And people get caught up in the cost. They say, well, it's going to cost too much. And, you know, you think about the, the typical person walking around on the street. I have patients who pull up to the office in a $50,000 truck, the brand new F-150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they financed it. And, and then when you think about the cost of the teeth, you're driving in your truck how often, Randy? 5% of the time, I don't know. Maybe 30 minutes a day, an hour a day if you're a commuter. How often... How often during the day are you using your teeth? Yeah. When you talk, all the time. when you smile, when you eat, when you breathe, it's how you look. So we're using our teeth all day, but people don't want to get into spending a lot of money because they don't think it's worth it. Well, as soon as they know that their life can be changed and that they can do all these things that they haven't They're been able to it. do, they don't even blink. So with her, by the way, they this, don't this blink. after is, is a good one. I mean, you could see the happiness in, 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 in her eyes. It's, it's the same thing. I'm not thing. trying to side with you. People no. just tuning in need to know. You know, I mean, this is a real interview right. here. Um, it's the same thing. This is, I mean, it looks natural. This is a smile that you can't manufacture. This is a smile where she was self-conscious. You've seen people who are self-conscious smile, and it's, and it's, a, little, it's a little weak. They don't, they don't really show their teeth. They, their, their lips don't really curve up. They're, they're nervous. This isn't that. She's someone who's self-confident again. And so she comes in. I see her every, every year. She comes in and we check things out. Uh, and she said, you know, Dr. Rao, at first I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really confident that I'd be able to eat everything. But I started introducing things. And now I'm eating salads. I'm chewing up salads. I've lost weight. I went out to dinner for my birthday and I got a steak. And I ate the whole thing. And I <laughs> chewed it up and I tasted it. Uh, and, and what a difference that has made on her life to be able to do those things. So sometimes these patients, they come in on consults, right? And they don't know their options because they've been out of the system and they come in and I just think, man, this person has no idea how good their life is going to be. <laughs> they have no idea. By getting and, their teeth back. Oh man, what you a You make difference. it sound like that, you know, the hair club for men, you get your hair yes, and you're hiking yes, and running yes. and playing tennis. Same kind of thing here with your teeth. Absolutely. Except more so than hair. Because your hair just sits there and looks good. You do all kinds of things with your teeth. You know, there's two types of patients that come in. 
There's patients that come in because they're in pain and they just want to chew again. They want to eat their foods again. And there's patients who come in because they don't like the way they look. And there's this benefit that both of those parties get that they didn't expect, that they're going to get the whole package. So you came in because you wanted to chew and eat your food and you left and you look like a million bucks. <laughs> or these people came in, they wanted to look good and they do, they look fantastic. And they go home and start eating foods that they haven't eaten in years and they're blown away. That's good. Yeah. So, so the people have no idea what they're missing out on when they can have this full life again, this life full of great experiences, social experiences, experiences with food, interacting with their family and friends. And you say that maintenance, I guess, they come in like every six months, get them cleaned? Yep, they come in six they're months. They're back so in the system, as you say. They're back in the system. They, you know, and I'll tell you what, I've never had a patient who I did a filling on stand up and give me a hug and cry. <laughs> You know what I mean? These, these, the patients who get their general dentistry and you know, they get their dentistry done, they walk out. These people come in and they're, it's every time with not just me, but the whole staff, they're hugs. They're bringing us food. We're getting food baskets. I had a patient last week. He's a farmer. He brought us a barrel of peaches. I've never had a <laughs> barrel of peaches. And I, was, and, I, and I was very honored to have that. And, and these people, they just love it. They love that you've been able to, to give them something that they haven't had for many years. Okay, good. Now, we, sh we should mention uh, that Medicare, mm -hmm. Medicaid, does not cover here in the U.S. Right. this procedure. But you have financing. Is that right? We Available? Do. Yep. We offer, we offer a handful of options. Okay. So for less than a car payment, many people are getting their teeth fixed. Okay, good. Yep. Final message. Somebody watching this, they're still skeptical. They're going, well, my denture's okay. Or they, they know their teeth are failing. They're no good. What do you say to them? I say to them, remember these stories that I've told about Ellen and Ruth. And these are people who, who thought they might have been okay. They, they've gone decades in, and, and in some cases multiple decades of adapting and getting used to living a life that's not a full life. They haven't eaten the foods that they've wanted to eat. They've avoided social situations. There is a whole world out there. So come out and free consultation? Free consultations, anytime, give us a call. How soon could you tell them, by the way, from uh, like if they go in today, right? Mm -hmm. How soon could you tell them we could do this or you're a candidate? 10 minutes. Is that right? 10 minutes. Are they ever skeptical? Like, are Every you sure? Time. The first, first patient I ever did this procedure on, she looked at me and said, you're not over 20 years old. How are you gonna <laughs> do this? I said, well, you know, I, I have been to dental school and I've been through some advanced training on the, on the dental implants and she gave me a shot. And, and she went through it and she changed. She went from a little bit of a, a crabby demeanor to so happy to see us every time. We're out of time. I want to thank you for coming on the show. And they could learn more on the website. They could call. Do they get to see you on the appointment? Absolutely. Every time. Okay, good. I'll be there. Thanks again. Yep. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.